Hi everyone! So in my last video I mentioned that I was making a free version of the OneNote planners so I'm excited to announce that I finished it and it is available for download. I'll put the download link in the description below. So the planner is fully dated to the end of 2021 so it has a monthly pages as well as weekly pages and this is a horizontal format. So the planner is hyperlinked, so what this means is that when you tap on the hyperlinks at the top, that will take you to the relevant page. So that just allows for easier navigation within the planner. With the text in the planner, you can just go ahead and delete that if you don't want to see that. So for those of you who are completely new to digital planning, a digital planner is essentially a digital format of a traditional planner, and you can write on it with a stylus pen. So here I'm using the iPad Pencil on the iPad Pro. However, um, I'm also going to be showing this using the um, Android Samsung tablet along with the S Pen. So basics of OneNote is you can change the pen color that you want, and then you can just write on this. So if you struggle to write in a straight line like me, there is a tool that helps with this. So I'm just going to go into Safari and in the freebie vault, so I'll put the link to that down below as well. If you just come down to the bottom, I have two versions. I have a lined grid and also a dotted grid. So with this dotted grid, um, you can just tap to download and then you can just drag and drop the sticker onto your page. And it might be hard to see because it is um, very faint. However, you can resize this over your whole page and then you can just use this as a guideline. So now you can see when you write on it, you have this dotted grid to use as a guide. And I do have a line version of this as well. So once you're done with this, you can just go ahead and delete the, the sticker. So one of the best things about OneNote is its ability to sync between different devices. So here I am on the, the Android tablet. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus with the S Pen. And I've opened up my planner to the same page and you can see it's got everything that I had on my iPad Pro. So the next thing I want to mention is stickers. If you have a OneNote sticker pack, so all these stickers are pre-imported into OneNote, all you have to do to use a sticker is to tap on it and copy that into your planner page. If you already have an image like the freebie grid onto the page, OneNote doesn't like it when you place a sticker over a sticker. So I always recommend placing a sticker to the side and then you can resize it and then bring that onto your page. So if you don't have a sticker pack and you're using individual PNGs, so for example, if you um, have gone to a freebie vault and you're using any of the freebies in there, that will take you to a download link where you can download stickers. So let's say I'm going to download this one. You can download this onto your device. So typically when you save it, it will go into your file manager. And then the tip that I have is that if you bring up all of the windows, so this is for the, the Samsung tablet, I'm tapping on the icon and then you can do open in split screen view. And then if you tap on the main window of um, OneNote, that will bring the two up side by side. And then you can just resize this and then you can then drag and drop stickers onto your page. So if you prefer to type, you can put down a text box. And you can also change the font if you select everything. You can also change your default font so that you don't have to change it all the time. So there you can change your font a style and size. So if you like the freebie planner, check out our full bundles because they also include 1000 pre-cropped stickers included in a OneNote file. So you can just copy and paste these over to your planner. So I was invited to do the OneNote creator series with Michelle a while ago. And as part of that live stream, I created these demo planner templates to show what you can do with your planner. So here is just an example of how you can decorate your planner. And I'll put the link to that live stream down below if you want to check that out. And in the full version of the planner, you have daily pages as well. So these have time slots, notes, and bases to put other things. And it also comes with 50 extra templates. So I'll just run through some of these quickly. And there's also plain grid and dotted and line pages so you can make journal pages out of them. So I hope you enjoy using the free OneNote planner. If you like it, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.